Hi, this is Paul Kankowski with House Management Property Management, and today I'm going to be talking about five tips for renting an apartment or a home in San Diego, California. The first tip is when you're renting a home or apartment in San Diego, California, don't have a lot of clutter. Some people have the house filled to the rim with stuff and you can't really see what the rooms are like. And they look smaller because you have so much stuff in them. So a big tip for it is sometimes it's better to wait until you have the property vacant before showing it if there's just too much clutter. If people have stacks of books and everything's stacked up, then that apartment, if it's 1,300 square feet, it's going to look like it's 600 square feet and people are not going to want to live there. Second tip for renting a home or apartment in San Diego is when you're showing it, have lots of times available for people to see it. Here at HouseMatch, we use self-showing lockboxes so people can register with their license, we get their information, and then they can access this. Now this is only, you're only able to do this if the property is vacant. You can't have a self-showing if the property is occupied. But by having self-showing, you can show the property for 12 hours a day, which really helps those people that are working or at different hours, we have to understand that in this generation, no one wants to see the property only Tuesdays and Thursdays at 11 a.m. They want to see the property when they can so that they can get in there. The more people you show the property to, the more people you give availability to the property to, the better tenant you're going to get and the more applications you're going to get so that you can get a great quality tenant. The third tip is make sure the property has all the safety features that is required by law. I've gone into some properties that are for rent and they have no smoke detectors or, more, or carbon monoxide. The first thing is, is that that property is out of compliance. So if I was looking at a property for rent and I saw something out of compliance, I would really warn you that even if a renter is going to rent it, you are putting yourself up for a major lawsuit by not staying in compliance. Things like water heaters not being strapped correctly. Uh, you know, these are just a small amount of things that here at Housemates we look for and we make sure that properties are in compliance in order to protect you as the owner and we don't want something bad to happen to the tenant. So we want to make sure to keep the property as safe as possible for the tenant. The fourth tip is have a great description for the property. Make sure you really describe the property and let people know what they're going to be seeing. And the last tip is get good photographs. I see properties that are marketed on the internet and the photographs we can barely see and they look, the, the, the quality is poor and the house just doesn't look as good. So that means a lot of really quality people are not even going to go view your property if the photographs are terrible. So make sure you get some quality photographs. Now in today's technology, sometimes our own iPhones can take really good photographs, but you need to know how to take the photograph. We here at House Match, we have a very expensive camera that we use. And so we get very professionally grade photographs when we're taking them. But you can do really good photographs with your iPhone. The only difference is sometimes you just can't get the full feel of the room in. But the more and more advanced that these phones are getting, the better they are becoming to professional quality photographs. Again, this has been Paul Kinkowski with House Match. We would love to help you with your property management services. If you need any, please give us a call. Have a wonderful day.